How's it going, guys? Seven Chop Brothers Love. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Uh, welcome to another episode. So here, we're in the kitchen. Thanksgiving. We just got done eating. Woo! And then just ladies are packing the food. So we had a lot of leftovers. But yeah, so just some news. Got my bird back from Rock Creek. I'll show you my bird uh, shortly here. Uh, also got some news that, um, you know, wh uh, what's been going on. A pigeon show that <laughs> one of my buddies randomly put two of my birds in and, and uh, got some great results. And then uh, just some uh, results now from Cuevas. Cuevas had a 200 mile race recently. And uh, I think I did pretty well there. Um, so stay tuned, watch all that. Let's go. All right, guys, I want to do a special shout out also to Darius Lee of Primetime Designs. Again, if you need a pedigree background, pigeon pictures, whatever, my man Darius here can take care of you. He will work out, work it out with you, see how you like it as well. And also, a uh, big announcement, I got a, another sponsor, uh, another big sponsorship from Hmong Home Health Kids. This is one of the logos. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Mongo Healthcare, for giving, uh, you know, for sponsoring me, giving me opp uh, an opportunity uh, to show what, um, you know, my birds can do uh, in the community and, you know, in the country. Uh, big shout out to you guys. Thank you for the sponsorship. I appreciate it. Much love from some of Bells Love to you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for my sponsorships, Darius Lee, Primetime Designs, and thank you, Mongo Healthcare. Uh, appreciate it. Much love. Let's get back to the show. All right, guys. So today's uh, November 18th. It was a Friday. Um, I got this bird back from Rock Creek Classic. I sent three there. I got one back. Uh, and here is Bay City Combines 563. Banner Bay City Combine 563. I've yet to give her a name yet, but she is name worthy. Uh, sent her to Rock Creek Classic one off race in Kimberly, Idaho, hosted by Kendall and uh, Raiden. Sorry if I butchered your name. Awesome, awesome, awesome guys. Uh, so she she came in this morning. So I went to work. I wasn't able to do a video, but I'm off work, and it's cold. You see that? It's cold. So here she is. This is part of my project this year. Turk made uh, to uh, bulldozer. But Sire is a, a off a cog I call a Samson's bulldozer. That's a direct son off of uh, Peter Yang Miloslav's uh, foundation uh, foundation bulldozer cock. That I love to fight out of this head right from the box. That is awesome. Uh, Dam is my one and only Wild Midwest. Beautiful back and tail. Y'all can see. But she is awesome. She is small, apple body. Uh, gonna give her a few more days to kind of recover from shipping. But man, she is a gem. But yeah, to all the viewers out there who uh, wants me to recommend a one off, a Rock Creek, guys. Affordable one off. I think it's 125 perch, uh, 250 activation. Very affordable. They do a great job there. You're flying the tough Nevada and into Idaho terrain. Look at that. Look at that. She wants to get out smart. Looks around. Loves the fight. Oh, I forgot to mention, she also won me some money. She won me 860 bucks on the semifinal. I think it was a 280 something mile race. Um, she was the fifth leading champion bird into the final. 
fortunately, the, the final was a very tough race. Uh, I think there was only 11 day birds and uh, my bird 563 here made it on the second day, the next day. But yeah, guys, this is 563. Love this hand. Great job, Kendall. This is a very awesome specimen. She's a, but yeah, so just going back, she's a granddaughter of Turkon. Uh, I'm glad I got her back here. Fortunately, the sire, something happened to the sire, a little mishap, but I'm glad I was able to get a son and a daughter back from that sire, from the Samson's Bulldozer here in the loft. Full brother, full brother. Uh, won me 10th place at the Bay City Combine band race. Handled by Matt and the full sister here. Also won some money. But yeah, this is 563, guys. So here I have the mother to my Rock Creek uh, money winner on a 282 mile race. Here's Wild Mill West. I've shown her multiple times on my YouTube channel here. Direct daughter of Turcon. My foundation cock. And Wild Mill West here is a money winner, first place winner herself. 2017 Purple Heart Fraternity Race winner. 300 mile race. Finish your 10th flight here. So this year alone, she already bred two money winners. Very beautiful hen. Small upper body, very plump. Yeah, she bred uh, my 10th place uh, money winner, the Bay City Combine for their band race. She bred me my Rock Creek money winner, the equal first, second place over uh, at Rock Creek on the 282, the semifinal race. I think this head is special, very, very special. This is why I'm the West. Very beautiful head. Very, very beautiful, very special head. Two money, like I said, two money winners this year already. Uh, I am very blessed. Very special head, indeed. All right, well, Midwest. All right, guys, so here's Bulldozer 411. If you guys remember him, I showed him one of my Bulldozer video. Bulldozer, Bulldozer 411, here's the nest mate to my Bulldozer's Beauty. Very beautiful bird. His daughter scored 44th at Quivis on, uh, on this previous race, the 200. Super fast race. I think our race was in the 1700s, I think. But here's a sire. Like I said, this is the 
And that's made to my bulldozer beauty. So congratulations to everybody over there at Cuevas, super fast race. Uh, fortunately, I did lose one on that race. So I was one for two on, the, on race day. But we'll see. This is also one of the um, bulldozer trick cross that I did. I'll show you the dam here in a bit here. But look at this bad boy. Look how he's always looking around. Very beautiful bird. All right. So this is Bulldozer 411. Testing out that theory that Bulldozer are trick cross. Let's see how it goes. All right, let me go show you the dam to my Quivis, uh finisher. All right, so here we have the mother to my 44th place down at Quivis, the, uh the previous race in that 200. Here's a 7909. I showcased her in a few videos and uh, a few of my Instagram reels and my short YouTube shorts. This was a gift bird from Sam Haslam. Awesome gift bird from Sam. So 7909 here, she, she's a double granddaughter to Sam's foundation hen, Grand Canyon. Double granddaughter, okay? This hen here was raised at Crooked River 2017. On the 300, she finished 31st. She won some money there. On the final 350, she finished uh, 16. Won some money there. And she finished sixth overall average speed that year for inbred. I don't know if you guys can see, but she has some bronzing on her bars. Very beautiful slate, white flight, with some bronzing. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell, hard to see. So, but yes, so this is the mother to, um, to my 44th place bird at Quivis, the other, uh, this previous race on the two. When I, uh, actually 7909 here, when I first had her, my first breeding season, she ran me an equal first uh, money winner on the 300 at uh, Crook River in 2020 as well. So, really nice hen. Look at that. Very, very blessed to have this head here. Double inbred, raced. This goes back to uh, Sam's Red Storms, Red Fox, Jansen's, onto Grand Canyon, and then on the bottom, it's a uh, on the Grand on the dam side. It's also a um, inbred Grand Canyon, so she's like three times. Damn side was a grandson back to grandmother meeting. So this is actually pretty pretty stoked, pretty cool. 7909 guys. Beautiful hen. Right guys, got some fun news that just happened. So I my buddies over in Indiana. Uh the Dysher family, Ron Dysher and Joshua Dysher down there. Joshua texted me in the morning and said, Hey, your bird just won his category show. I'm like, Show? I didn't enter any birds. And then I will, I finally like kind of woke up a little bit more. And I was like, Oh, yeah. They actually got a few of my birds down there. And then uh, I actually donated a bird to. Uh, their their uh, joint uh, auction that's coming up soon and Joshua entered the bird in and won this category so that's pretty dope um, I've 
I think it won uh, best unflown bird in the show. Um, that bird could have won grand champion. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. But yeah, that bird won um, best unflown uh, pigeon. And I took away a little money, a little uh, prize money. But that bird um, was down from my Turk Bulldozer Cross. It was a lay hatch. I didn't get a chance to send it out. So I, I, you know, I was willing to donate to Joshua and them and the guys down there. And that's a full brother to one of my uh, race uh, top 10 finishers over at Utah for Mike Jones. So that's pretty dope. I've, I've never thought that my pigeons would do well in the show. I always thought of doing a show, entering my birds in the show. I do, I feel like I have a good, you know, a little good, you know, idea on what to select and what to look for for a show. Uh, but, you know, I, I raise pigeons. Uh, pigeons here are not, to, not supposed to look good. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. And also the same show... Joshua and Ron bought a bird for me uh, last year. The full sister to my uh, to Dosa's Princess, my Cougar River winner. And she also won her category too. <laughs> I'm like, wow, get out of here. So that's pretty dope. That's that's really cool. Uh, that hen, I raised her on my 2020 uh, race team, young bird race team. I flew her from, you know, she went through the whole race series. She uh, sent to the Midwest Convention when we hosted up here at the 350. And, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I later sold her to uh, Ron and Joshua Deicher. And, uh, yeah, Joshua entered her in, and she won it in Best Flown. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's, that's cool as hell. Like, two birds I've read, and <laughs> they put it into show and won. So that's pretty dope. And then they're all down from Turkon. That's, 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 the, that's the cool part. Uh, the best flown was direct out of Turkon. The best unflown is a great grandson of Turkon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, congratulations again, Joshua. Yeah, and I've also found out that uh, Jim Ward, Jim Ward from uh, uh, Family Loft, and as Who's Your Classic, he was one of the judges. And uh, I think Vern, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I think Vern, Mr. Vern was also uh, the second judge as well. And uh, back to back to um, one of the birds in the show, 161. Joshua said that bird would could have, would have, should have won overall uh, overall bird. And I'm like, what? That bird could have won overall grand champion. He said, "Yep." Sadly, uh, the only thing that made him not take that title was that category was he was still growing his 10th flights so i'm just like ah darn it that's okay so that's pretty cool um you know like i said i i i, I breed pigeons to race i don't breed pigeons to show and uh you know with joshua <laughs> being the first to ever put my birds that i bred in a show that's that's pretty cool so uh congratulations again joshua uh that's 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 good news that's that's great news that's like fun news so congrats, congratulations again man all right guys there you guys have it uh it was pretty cool pretty cool uh past you know past couple weeks since my last video uh so pretty outstanding uh congratulations to everybody on the drop uh congratulations to everybody at quivis you know hopefully with all the bad weather that's going on in texas you know hopefully we can get some break in there in the weather and uh, continue on with the races um, so three more races left. We'll see how it goes. And um, now we're just we're getting ready for breeding season. And then uh, we'll see. We'll go from there. So. Hey, Aaron, grab your beard. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, sorry, guys. Got to go. Still Thanksgiving. Still got family over. You know, if you haven't liked, share, subscribe yet, please do. Uh, hopefully, everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, have time with their family and all, all your loved ones. So happy Thanksgiving for Seven Shot Brothers Love. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.